my feeling was that you know if they wanted house what i offered them was bedsit um <laughs> <laughs> How is everyone? Oh. Well, it's a bit grey, isn't it? Is it grey where you are? It's endless rain. Yeah. Where's yeah. the summer gone? It's true. It's I know, it's true. Listen, girls, I've got a little surprise for you, and this is only oh. a beginning. Right. Pay attention. Oh. Look at the screen. Mask. Oh, oh Harriet! It's coming. Now, we may, this is only a first version by BDA Masks. Just say it's on its way. Oh, it, there may be a white one. It may be this color. We don't. We want it thank to pop. You. So it's is all. It's all happening. Harriet? What, is darling? From, it's a present from you. I know it's a first. Um, <laughs> but it's it's BDA masks who make all those amazing masks. Have said would they we they do try and do one for us. So I, it will be coming to you at some point. We're still in. It's still being processed, but it, oh, it's fab. Thank you. How so I know Sherry knows wearing them, but there's no excuse yes. now with Wonderbirds on it. So no, <laughs> well enjoy wearing them now. Oh, yeah, well, fantastic. Great. Fantastic. Thank well, you. I will, but... Yeah. Oh, I've got a goodness sake. Tiny little thing. But you might. You. I've got a tiny thing to tell you before uh, Tracy comes in. Do you ever put your earrings on and they fall down because your earlobes have gone? Is it, or is that just me? My earlobes, because I have, of course, of course uh, Sherry doesn't have pierced ears because little men go and live in her ears. But as I've got older, my earlobes, my pierced earlobes have got longer and longer. And when I put yeah. earrings in, sometimes they hang down. Anyway, yeah. I discovered these. So look how high my earrings are. Because hang I on. discovered, hang on, so they're now higher. Can you see? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. How's that? That's because I got these which are little studs that you put behind your ears that lift your earrings up. So they make your wow. ears look younger. Could, could, that, could I do that for my tits? I was going to say, <laughs> so now, Debbie, what you're going to say to me next time you see me is, your, your boobs are okay, but what about your ears? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> these, these ears have lift everything. Things that you can buy online. <laughs> Amazing. They really That's... do work. And I'm thrilled, actually. So I've got higher earlobes today. Well, well I will tell you another story then. Yeah. I ordered off the internet some tapes to tape my face up <laughs> and they arrived. <laughs> well, they were absolutely useless. <laughs> so you stick them on, but if you wear makeup, they slide off. So no. you've got one side which looks great and then the other side like, up. Oh, oh then, no. So everybody that out there hysterical. knows about that tape. <laughs> Thank God, thank God. I, I, honest to God, I went yes. out with one of them on, one of yes. them fell off, and unbeknownst to me, which was hanging there, and the other one was like that. So I sort of like no. that with a piece of skin, which it looked like, was no. hanging off my face. That is hysterical. Goodness me. That is hysterical. Did you hear? Did you hear about... Urgent. We need to bring on the next guest urgently, because we need oh. her now. I, okay, before you do, can I just yes. tell you one very funny story about yes. the, the very first person who ordered something on the internet. This is what I was told recently. It was a guy, and it was for a penis extension. And he ordered it, and when it arrived, it was a magnifying glass. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. When are you doing stand-up, Dee? <laughs> I'm going to be outside your theatre doing it, darling. Oh, dear God. <laughs> I'm actually speaking to you today from the restaurant, um, which is uh, not open at the moment because we're in the middle of tech. So I've got another very glamorous background, which is rather very fun. Very nice. Oh, okay. It's when can lovely. See you? When, do you, when, is, when can we put a warm hand on your opening? That's not happening. You're not going to pay me enough. <laughs> um, we start previewing on the 25th. Press right. night is the first. And uh, yeah, any old time. That'd be great. We're there. We're, We're there. there. We'll, wow. we'll have to get Fantastic. a cardboard cut out of Sherry because obviously she's not allowed to travel. But he <laughs> and I will yeah. be there. We'll be yeah. there. Yeah, I think it's, yeah. Can't wait. yeah. That's right. Perfect. Okay, Very well, we'll exciting. sort out the seeds okay. as far away as possible. Um, <laughs> <laughs> now, listen, I want to bring in our wonderful regular, Dr. Tracy Mountford. God, we need you. Hi, Tracy. We've Hi. had a lot of discussion, Tracy, already, which we're going to bring you in on in a minute. But I just want to say it's What to Watch Wednesday. I've been watching Harlots, which I cannot stop watching, which is amazing. What have you been watching? Well, I've been watching The Fall. Have any of you seen that? It's yeah. on Netflix. 
Oh, no. it's brilliant. I think I came late to the late to the, the party on this one, but I tell you, I love it. I love it particularly because I've got a girl crush on Gillian yeah. Anderson. Oh, I have mean, you? And I've got, I, I want him. He's so gorgeous. He's well, the only serial, serial killer I wanted to have sex with. <laughs> Is there any censor on this show at all? That, Can we not censor think, any of this? <laughs> I think Jeez. Gillian, actually Gillian, I, I think I prefer. Um, I think she looks phenomenal. She's the most amazing no. actress. I'm sure you go, you know, I watched her all about Eve. She looks uh, fabulous. On stage. Oh she God, yeah. Phenomenal. <laughs> But she plays that part so well, and I'm riveted. Again, as you guys know, I watch it about 11 o'clock at night, so I'm most of watching episode after episode. <laughs> but it's so good. I'm in the middle of series two, so they've just sort of cottoned on to him. So let's see what happens. But it's but Jamie brilliant. Jamie Dornan is fantastic in that. I, I mean, know. Absolutely brilliant. To play a part where he is so attractive and yet so evil at the same Sinister. time. It's they always go together, they say. See? True. The best serial killers are the most charismatic, aren't they? That's they are. Yeah. Can we not encourage yeah. people, please? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Who's next? That's Who's my next? one. Yes, who wants to go next? What, Dee, what have you been watching? Well, you know me. I love going back in time um, mm. to these wonderful sort of... Um, well, period dramas, and I, I mean, I watched the Durrells the first time round, and I'm watching it again, and it's still as good the second time round. Yeah, and my good. very, very mm -hmm. favourite actress is Healy Hawes, one of oh. them, apart from Harry, yes. of course. But it's like, I think she's <laughs> and so Sherry. great. Yeah, and Sherry, of course. And Debbie. Um, <laughs> and Debbie, of course. And, and I actually feel that um, <laughs> she really pulled it off because and it was all based on sort of the memoirs of one of the sons, you know, Ger Gerald G Jarrell. And I just felt that uh, it's just captured the whole sort of thing in Corfu. And how brave was she to take all her kids, to uproot them and take them out there, in, you know, at a time in the 30s when there were no medicines, there were no sort of internet, nothing. Mm. And it was just... It wasn't the internet in the 30s, darling. Which what, world darling? are you in? <laughs> No internet. <laughs> no internet, no nothing. Not internet. Not nothing. Not nothing. Internet. Well, I, I've, been, I've been, I, I'm just boring again because I've just been watching the end of Perry Mason, yes. um, which was the last episode was just amazing. And he's, uh, uh, what's his name? Matthew, Matthew Rice, mm -hmm. which, you know, he's an English actor, you know, and he's such a fantastic, convincing American actor. So he's just, and he did a, a, a series called The Americans anyway. So, so that was, Amazing. What have you been watching, Sherrykins? Well, I had a little bit of a cry Why? Be last night because I watched the rerun of Barbara Windsor's story, Bounce. Oh, yeah. And uh, I don't know if you saw it the first time round. <laughs> yeah. And it was, it's terribly sad anyway, because there's lots of things about her father in it. And But when, when you, we got to the end of the show, Barbara Windsor herself came on and sang on stage. And her husband was sitting in the audience watching and everybody stood up and gave her a standing ovation. But the, the sadness to know what's happened to Barbara since then is just so, it was so overwhelming watching this documentary last night. I cannot tell you, it really hit home she was gorgeous, she was clever, she, and you know, she'll always be in everybody's hearts because Barbara Windsor will be. I mean, I worked with her many times and she was just the living soul of everybody's party and she was fabulous and went through some very hard times, but the sadness, of course, mm. is where she is now and what's happened to her now. And I, I'm sure we all send both of them all I love. Yeah, Jerry, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. will you now tell um, Dr. Tracy Mountford what happened to you, please, with your oh. trip? <laughs> well, Tracy, I sent away because when I've interviewed American uh, actors before, they always have this wonderful lift. And I found out from a couple that they use tapes you know, when they do interviews on television. So I sent away <laughs> for some tapes on the internet and they came. When they came, I thought to myself, oh, they don't look that big really, you know, so I thought, oh, well, I'll 
but it'll be fine. <laughs> they were <laughs> absolutely useless. So I put two on, but unfortunately went out. So one of them stayed and the other one fell down, but hung on to my skin, my drooping <laughs> skin. So now it looked like I'd got something wrong with this side of my face. And I'd also got skin hanging off the hanging skin on the left side of my face. Unbeknownst to me, because I'd got out the car to go into the shop and no one said, <laughs> what's happened to your face? There must be another way, Tracy. There must be a way. What can she do to make herself have a chin? A, a, yeah, can, that, is there a treatment? <laughs> that is so funny. I mean, they, they used to do those things called frownies as well. It's exactly the same concept. You stick it on and you don't frown anymore. But yeah, I mean, thankfully, um, that is a nice, easy fix if it works. But obviously it doesn't work. There's some really clever things now, actually, Debbie, that you can do that probably even two or three years ago you couldn't do. Um, so like we all said, for that sort of very slight softness in the, the jaw where it starts to get a bit jowly, when we look down, just beginning to look a bit saggy, there's a really good treatments. And, and one of the things we do a lot in clinic and we, we do all the time is um, restoring the jawline with filler. And People need to understand, or we all need to understand what happens with aging and why we get this sort of stuff, you know, the softness here and the jowling. So if you can imagine my, my pen here is like the, the bone of the jawline and it, it sort of keeps the skin lifted, supported. And when we're young, we have a very nice, strong jawline that looks very attractive and it's all in balance and hey presto, happy days. When we get older, that gap between the chin and the angle of the jaw very slightly shrinks because our bone shrinks. We lose bone as we get older. Okay, this is the horrifying, this is the nightmare stuff this you is, keep talking about, Tracy. This is the shrinking, shrinking head. head. I'm losing head. sleep. So what actually happens is, if you can imagine, <laughs> if that's reduced, all your, all your skin sort of buckles up and, and sags. So actually, really clever technique, simple <laughs> to do, relatively inexpensive. We put filler deep on the bone, we just do it with a blunt-ended cannula, just one insertion point, so not lots of trauma. Just feed it along the bone here and along the tip of the jawline, and you get a really nice angle back to the jaw, right. and it also I helps that. That, that little bit there as well. So it makes it just, it's no good if someone's got lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of sagging and jowling, we're not suggesting that, but just when it gets just a bit soft and jowly, and it restores Too late that for me then. then. It's really I was good. gonna say, yeah. Tracy, really well. no. have, have you had it done? Tracy? I have had it done. I have had it done. It's really simple, and it and it lasts about. It does need repeating. It lasts about a year, eighteen months. But actually, oh. it's simple. It's instant, and it gives a more. It sort of restores that youthful look because as we get older, we tend to get a bit more, you know, oblong here, and this mm. tends to widen out. And just sort of doing that shortens the face it makes it look more youthful it's really i might just use a stapler Can i think I i'll just use a stapler <laughs> Tracy, Terry. um the thing is which i think people are aware of but don't realize how serious this is as you get older your gums recede yeah your teeth change and i call it your teeth walk about your mouth yeah yeah because they do. your gums recede so you like that gap there has widened for me yeah because my gums are so my gaps are widening they don't close they widen yeah but i think one of the most serious thing is uh gum disease and and gum shrinking now i don't think you can tell me if there's anything you can do about shrinking gums or your teeth or I mean, what do people do? Do yeah. they have a full set of new teeth? You can't yeah. stop your gums shrinking, can you? No, you can't. So what exactly, do you do? No, exactly what you said, Sherry. You're absolutely bang on. I mean, we're going, we get, even if we have impeccable dental hygiene and we all try and floss and do our thing, and you know, if we have other things like diabetes or other conditions, it makes us more prone to gum disease. But that aside, we're going to get shrinkage of our gums anyway. In fact, that happens. Um, but of course, good dental hygiene, regular visits to the dentist, flossing, you know, electric toothbrushes uh, nowadays. Which I have to say, you can't do now. 
You can't what? do the, the regular dentist thing now. No. And that's another thing in lockdown, we've all been, you know, we're all, we're all waiting. Yes. And I think if, if, even if I don't, you're absolutely right. So impeccable dental hygiene is vital, but that aside, even then we get gum recession. The other thing you mentioned about having a new set of teeth and you know, everybody now, and I don't like this term, but you know, most of us have some sort of restorative work because our, our teeth have yeah. gone a bit able. Yeah. But actually, now there's this trend, as you know, for younger people to have the full set of veneers, the full set yeah. of crowns. Veneers. The problem with that is that you damage often the tooth <coughs> and you get mm. accelerated gum recession and aging. So they don't oh, even realize. Oh so actually, goodness. you have to be really careful. But you're right. So what happens is if the gums recede, which they will do, that sort of bony framework that keeps the lips up, the, the yeah. lower face up, shrinks down. And again, going back to one of my you stop? Things, I'm going to need more therapy now. The, the, top <laughs> lip, the top lip drops. So the top lip drops, the bottom lip drops, and everything looks more masculinized and unattractive. So what we do is, of course, the dentists can help with this. But once the damage is there, you can actually inject deep onto bone to give more lift oh. and support. But so I would like to say, can, do can, I, can I say, this is why these masks are going to come in very useful, because you can hide, oh, hide everything. everything. Absolutely. I've got, they no, are. I've got the opposite of, of that, because I have gums that, that, grow, that grow over teeth. Oh, Dear. God. Yeah. So, so you've I've, got an opposite. You, you're thing. like a chihuahua. <laughs> so, so, so how do you I control your like growing gums? How, how, do you, how do you control it? How did it growing no, down? So, so they, they'll grow down over my teeth. I just go to my dentist and they literally push them back up again. But oh. I'm one of the, the rare people, it's not, not <laughs> excessive, but I do have gums that, that, so that's why my teeth look shorter because my yeah. gums are growing. Yeah, that's really interesting. And again, you can get sort of gut inflammation in the gums, and that makes them look more bulbous and bulky as well. But it's oh. gum, it's gums and bone. Well, Tracy, can I just say something to you? I, I didn't feel the best when I came on here today, and now I feel like shit. So <laughs> I am going to say goodbye to you, Tracy, and thank you for all your help and consideration. <laughs> <laughs> Don't feel like that, Sherry. Thank you. So see you soon. Here. See you next thank week. Thank you, Tracy. Bye. 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 <laughs> but you I look think we lovely, could, we, we could do group therapy lovely. now. We need to have group <laughs> therapy to talk what? us through all the face shrinking and the bone shrinking and the oh, yeah, the garden. I've, I've got a better idea. After having a real doctor who has depressed us no end, let's bring on a fake doctor who <laughs> won't depress us. A fake doctor who's very good for the eye, who's very funny, very gorgeous, and very interesting person. Mr. Mm -hmm. Will Beck from Casualty, who plays Dylan. Will, are you Woo. there? Hi. Hi. Hi, Will. Welcome to our nest. <laughs> oh, glorious. Hi. glorious to be in the nest. How are you all? <laughs> Good. Good. Thank you. Good. Well, fine. Thank you so much for joining us. Well, tell us what, what everybody wants to know, because I've been watching Casualty last week. Uh, Dylan's going through a very weird time, isn't he, at the moment? Yes, he, he, he can't seem to make up his mind whether to spill the beans or, for that matter, what the beans are. Um, <laughs> um, and um, I think... Um, because we we were in the middle of um, of filming this storyline when everything got thrown up in the air. Oh. Um, and um, to be quite honest, I mean, normally one says, um, I can't tell you too much about what's going to happen um, on the understanding that they do know what's going to happen. But I can't tell you too much about what's going <laughs> to happen. Don't, not you don't know. No, I have a clue. <laughs> <laughs> so, so do you know when you're going back, Will? We are hoping hoping to go back at the uh, the beginning of uh september so i think the, the the august bank holiday um is our you know our threshold and if we can if we can if we can just keep on plowing through that then hopefully in september we'll get back to filming something but um all of it you know socially distanced uh we it remains to be seen how we go about doing that because um as far as i know you know even even the people preparing the show haven't had the opportunity to get in the studio and and really kind of suss it out so it's gonna be interesting um it's very we, strange because we, we had we had bob barrett on here because he's a friend yeah. of ours from and he was saying i mean ridiculously enough he was saying that uh holby had given their ventilators to 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 the nhs yeah yeah 
And he said that he didn't realize that they had ventilators because he was so stupid that he never realized when he said oxygen <laughs> that it was a ventilator. <laughs> I'm sure you know. And there were real well. ventilators as well, not pretend. <laughs> Well, obviously, uh, Bob's obviously known for his stupidity, but um, <laughs> uh, uh, we were, um, we were, I think we were certainly, we were encouraged, not to say compelled, to give all of our PPE to um, the NHS. And, oh, yeah. and then, and then we found out that as part of our kind of obligation, I, probably to the insurance company to get working again, that we were obliged to wear proper PPE, not just kind of mocked yeah. up acting <laughs> PPE. But the real stuff. So um, I think, I, I mean, I, as far as I know, I mean, that, that's been the major um, stumbling block to getting back to work has just of been course. everybody's yes. scrambling for the same stuff. Um, and you'd mm -hmm. think it'd be an advantage having to wear PPE in our show, but it's his ability to I don't know. I mean, it really, mm -hmm. I mean, this is the stuff that you never think you're going to have to think about. Um, um, so this, this, this is a really stupid question to you. <laughs> um, the, the soaps have gone back. You can't go back because you're a hospital show. Is that a <laughs> stupid question? No, that's what we've been. I, I mean, not not at all. I mean, it, it reflects my thoughts. I, I mean, I I I believe that we've we've been kind of impacted a little bit because of things like stunts. We we do a few more stunts, um, um, but. You know, I mean, if you, know, if you take, for instance, the storyline that, you know, we were talking about with, with, with Dylan and Lev and Faith, then, um, you know, the degree of uh, the degree of physical intimacy that that storyline yeah. is probably oh. moving towards in one direction or another. And honestly, I may end mm. up with Lev. Um, then the, the that sort of thing is almost impossible. I mean, though I, I've made suggestions about kind of <laughs> evocative close-ups. Um, like <laughs> um, <laughs> I'll let you fill in your own, your own storyboard. Um, but um, those, those things, are we're going to have to find out how to do them as we go along. And I'm just pleased we're getting back, because apart from anything else, I don't think you can do all of this stuff in theory. You just have to mm -hmm. put people in front of a camera and see what you can shoot. There's yeah. a lot, there's a lot of be said for, you know, restricting what you can do. It kind of it stimulates creativity. But continuing mm -hmm. drama is one of those. It, it's it's a very peculiar um, uh, medium. In it doesn't um, it doesn't it's, in the past it's never permitted shows to stop and reassess how they film. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, on and on and on, and it's the hardest thing in the world. Is trying you know. All of you know, I'm sure, how to, turning the juggernaut of a continuing drama, it's like trying to turn a super tanker in the middle of an ocean. Absolutely. Mm. But they've, they've been obliged to do it this time. And no doubt there'll be some advantages that are kind of harvested from it. But, you know, I just, I just can't wait to get back on board because apart from anything else, you know, I mean, short of, you know, rediscovering a love of fig rolls and um, <laughs> Zoom, um, you know, this time has... Has, it, it, it does. It does feel like you're not kind of you. You, 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 I, you feel like you're failing at life. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. I agree with that completely. Yeah. I wanted to ask you. I. I mean, a lot of us have been lucky enough to do uh, guest appearances on Casualty, and I always remember my first question to my agent when I look at the script, and is quite common amongst all theatricals: Are you horizontal? Or are you vertical? <laughs> because that dictates whether you're going to survive the episode. Yes, and that's, luckily, I was, I, was, <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I was horizontal last time, a couple of years ago, thank goodness. Um, but it, it, that's the first thing we ask. Are you horizontal? Am I horizontal or am I vertical? <laughs> it's, it's unusual to come back from, a, from, a, from an acting job complaining of bed sores. But, um, yes, <laughs> but there we go. I think we... Uh, you Needs can, must. We, you could um, you you can bet I suspect that a few of the regulars are going to be horizontal um, one way or another yeah. Um, yeah. over over the next few months because of course it's, it's reflecting real life and we have to I, yeah. I guess you know we I guess we have to be reasonably cautious about booking actors to come and do yeah. shows that you know that they mm. may then have all sorts of difficult you know for instance an actor living in an area that then gets locked down you know mm. I, I think I, I you know if i'm entirely honest about it 
given given the way that our industry works it's not really going to function brilliantly if mm, yeah. the way that we're doing things at the moment is going to continue ad infinitum. But, um, I think it's going to evolve. And I think as we gather momentum, I know lots of friends who are back now filming, as they begin to, this, as everyone keep, keeps saying, this new normal, you know, you're tested every day, everyone knows what's happening, you're in your yeah. own bubble, you don't cross each other. Mm. I think it will become, it's tough enough, but they will have to find a way forward because people need they need the arts and yeah. that's all that matters our culture our history mm. is creativity and reflecting of the world that we're in so they will make it work and we have to be positive because Indeed. we need it yeah i don't know about you but one of the things that i miss the most is this the sound of people laughing it's yeah. just gone whenever you should you... come on our show more often darling because that's all <laughs> exactly <laughs> have you been more creative have you started doing new things in lockdown yeah i mean as I said, you know, um, fig rolls have become a substantial part of my life. Um, but, Except um, food parcels, yeah. if you want to <laughs> send any. Well, uh, very definitely. I, 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 cooking is something I suppose I've done a little Ooh. bit. Well, wow. Bob Barrett is coming on here. Bob Barrett is coming next <laughs> week to do a cookery program with us. He sure is. Yeah. <laughs> so and you can come and do one as well. Cookery program. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm sort of vegan, sort of. Right. Ah, what does that mean? Not, what does well, that mean? Not the point of sort of. It's just that the things that I eat kind of coincide with vegan. <laughs> yeah. But you don't eat meat. You're vegetarian. <laughs> I, it, it, occasionally, meat <laughs> does pass ah. by So, yeah. Um, <laughs> so not vegan then, darling. Not that vegan. Count not as vegan. Not even well, sort of vegan. Gotta it's be like honest. veganism, but with the benefit of... <laughs> of being able to answer your body's cries for help. <laughs> when it, when it, <laughs> oh, I wish. Do you know what, um, well, I'm my body's watching you, watching you, do you know what, I feel that you, do you remind me of a young Hugh Laurie. Has, has anyone else said that to you before? Um, well, it's, uh, it's incredibly <laughs> flattering. Um, well, I, I believe I, that. I always, I, I, when, they, when they first came up with, with Dylan, I think, I'm pretty sure they had an actor in mind, not Hugh, but it was the time when House was was yeah. huge, actually huge. Yeah. Um, and my my feeling was that you know if they wanted House, what I offered them was bedsit. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's grown a little bit since then, and yeah, you know, I, I, if 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 you if you can find a, 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 you know a, a, an actor of my generation who doesn't. You know, have the utmost respect for what he's done and the way that he's managed his career and 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 the and the you know the the scope of what he's done. Then mm. you know I, I'd be very surprised. And I'm 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 you know that's enormously flattering. And um, yeah, I mean, what, yeah. if he if he ever does you know turn a job down, then <laughs> he could. Yeah. I, I, would I, would I, would you? Yeah. Would, would you actually like to work in the states? Well, oh, very, very, very much so. I, it, yeah. it's, um, it's, it's, it's the, it's the center of our industry. I always, mm. when I started out, I kind of promised myself that I wouldn't even go to America unless I was going there to work. And I've been true to that, but it's fair to say that the, the offers haven't come flooding in for some Not reason. Yet, it Not yet, darling. Not yet. I, I was yeah. waiting for him. Um, but I think, this time, the, you know, the last six months have caused such a massive reappraisal for, 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 for all of yeah, us. Yeah, all of us. Yes, yeah. And, you know, I guess, you know, if, if, if the industry is going to take off there most rapidly, if, 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 if it remains such a centre of their kind of their, their, their culture, the movie industry mm -hmm. and storytelling, oh. I mean, you'd have to you'd have to be crazy not to want to go and, and work there. Yeah, and, and, absolutely. And, you know, it, it's it's also a, a function of getting older. I think that I look at I look at I look at these things a bit more realistically now. Mm. Um, we're only in our thirties, Will, so we're not quite there yet, darling. <laughs> <laughs> Round the waist, Will. <laughs> I was. I had my twenty-first year in lockdown, so unfortunately, yeah. I missed out on it after next year. Um, no, I, I mean, I'd love to. I'd absolutely love to work in America. I'd absolutely love yeah. to work in America. Um, well, we wish you so much luck, and, and I'm sure that will happen. You know, because they say what you visualise and what you wish for 
does happen. So oh, yes, she's a very spooky one, this one. So uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Spooky. but we just love you. Well, I just can't, well, we I can't wait to see Dylan again. I mean, I'm, I miss him. Oh, and how many more episodes have we got of Casualty to go? I think there are about three or four. I may have that wrong. There are about three or four, but um, I think then when we go back, the episode is going to be slightly shorter. But yeah. hopefully that means that turnaround time will be a bit quicker. So we won't be off air for too long. Please come back and see us again. Please. I'd love to. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Sorry. 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 Thank you, Will. Bye, Will. See you Bye, soon, Will. Molly. Bye. 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 <laughs> sort of vegan and i eat meat i love that, that yeah, no. <laughs> well that, that brings us that brings us to uh what to brings us to friday what is happening on friday what day um, is it so? wednesdays fridays <laughs> i don't know we've got a lovely lady coming in who's actually turned her life around and um she had cancer she she met the love of her life and then just after she got married she was diagnosed with cancer and she had to give up her corporate job and she's turned her life around. She's not only survived, but she's thriving with a fabulous business. And it's, she's an inspiration to us all. Can't um, wait. That sounds amazing. Absolutely yeah. fantastic. And I can't wait. Who else? And so we have uh, Helena from the, uh, oh, yeah. uh, from the Daily Mirror. So yeah. who is going to come and tell us the gossip this week, what's going on. But we, yes. know, more about, we know a bit more about casualty, don't we? Mm. We Probably do. Probably more than she does. Yeah, we oh, we'll see you know all about on Friday, uh, dancing on ice, and she'll know, <coughs> excuse me, all I about the jungle. Oh, yes, yes. Uh, that's all oh, coming. Right, are you all right, Sherry? Do you want a yes. glass of water? <laughs> I'm just, no, it's just, I'm thinking about what Tracy said. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, don't think about it too much, darling. See you Friday. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Bye, darling. no hope. Oh, Stop lots it. of hope, lots of hope. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>